Hi, Cultivating Literacy Families. I'm going to be talking to you about how to help your child learn how to read and spell simple words. One exercise that you can begin with is helping them identify the beginning, sound, and simple words. After your child has learned a letter's name and its sound, and they've shown you that they're very consistent with identifying this letter name and its sound, you can then begin asking them to identify the beginning sound and letter in simple words. For example, you might ask your child to identify the beginning sound in the word rat. And they might say they hear the er sound at the beginning of the word rat. Then ask them for that letter's name. What letter makes the beginning er sound in rat? And they might say the letter R makes the er sound at the beginning of rat. Let's do another exercise. If they're familiar with the letter T, and that T says T, you might ask the child to identify what beginning sound they hear in the word time. They might say they hear the T sound at the beginning of time. Then ask them for that letter's name. What letter makes the T sound at the beginning of time? And they might tell you the letter T. After your child becomes very consistent and comfortable and shows mastery of identifying beginning sounds, you can then move on to final. Beginning and final sounds are oftentimes the loudest in simple words. For example, after your child has shown that they are very comfortable and consistent in identifying the beginning sound in simple words, you might ask them to identify the final sound or the last sound that they hear in the word rat. What's the last sound that you hear in the word rat, you might ask. And your child might say the t sound, then ask for the letter name. The letter t says t at the end of rat. Once your child shows consistency, comfort, and mastery in both the beginning and final, you can start to move on to that middle vowel sound. That's oftentimes not as loud and simple three-letter words as the beginning and final consonants are. I hope this was helpful and that it helps you help your child grow as a reader.